Hi, this tutorial is going to teach Python GUI using tkinter. The sample program is a line detection test software as you see now. What it does is to take command user action from GUI, open an image file and apply OpenCV line detections. You can control the line detection parameters by using the sliders. It was designed to detect walls of a biliting floor plan. The setup is to have isolated GUI, model, controller. View and model can not see each other. All actions to be managed by controller. Let's start coding, we are using PyCharm. One of the best Python IDEs. Create HNZ controller.py. Create HNZ model.py. Create HNZ view.py. Import tkinter as tk. And then import all widgets in tkinter. After that to import pub from pi sub pub. This package is required for communication between view, controller, and model. Create class view. Create a function to initialize class view. Also we need a main section when run this from command line, but this section won't be run if is used as a library. To be able to run the code, we also need to set up the running environment. Here we just use the system interpreter. Add a function that prints some text for testing. Fix some errors, and typo. Now we can run it. Check the output window we can see the texts have been printed on screen. We use three methods to set up GUI. First is setup method. It will call create widgets and layout out setup. The names are self explanatory. In create widgets method. Now is to create three frames to host different GUI components. There are several arguments to set up a frame. Most of them are obvious by their names. The first argument is what the frame belongs to. Container is the top GUI layer, which we will add later on. The top frame CONC ain'ts top frame 2 and 4 scale bars. The bottom frame contains the area to show image. Top frame 2 contains two buttons arranged in horizontal. Eka frame can only arrange its components in either horizontal or vertical order. So that's why we need top frame 2 inside top frame to hold two buttons in horizontal order. Now we add two buttons. One for loading an image, the other is for performing open CV line detection to the image. The first argument identify current widget's parent. The command argument needs to point to a method to call when button pressed. So we need to create two methods according, load IMG and line detect. Now we add four scale bars, first argument is the same which is the parent widget. The middle arguments control the range, orientation, length of the bar, and label. The command argument point to a method will be triggered when value of the scale bar changes. Now we add a label to show image, and put it under bottom frame. Also to add scalar change method. This method to be called whenever slayer bars get changed. Before we have created the required widgets, now within setup layout method, we will pack them into each other. First is to pack top and bottom frames, when packing them, 
the relative locations are specified during this process. Hack top frame 2 inside top frame. Hack 2 buttons inside top frame 2 horizontally. Hack 4 scale bars inside top frame vertically. Hack panel A which is a label into bottom frame for image display. Currently the missing puzzle is reference to top layer container. This will be passed when creating object from view class, and will be given by the application as a TK window. When we read object from class view, first we need to create a main window to host the view. The main win is the top TK layer. We can define the size of the window. Define the title of the window. After that we can create view object and pass main one as container, which will host all the widgets. Run the setup method from view object. After that the main win loop to be started. It is the exciting time to test run the user interface. Click run. Try load image button, we can see the load image method has been called and print load image in terminal. If we try line detection button, similar message is displayed. If we touch any scale bars, scale bar method called and message displayed. To see following video tutorials please subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.